Let's talk software engineering internships. Since the industry is so competitive, nowadays we're seeing internships ask for past internship experience. But how are you supposed to get past internship experience if you've never had an internship? We gotta start somewhere, right? So here's how I got mixed up. I go to the University of Waterloo and they have an internal job portal for internships. So when it came application time, I asked my your friends, hey, what developer jobs get the least number of applications? The answer was iOS developers, which makes sense. You need a MacBook, so higher barrier to entry. So I decided I would tailor my resume to just iOS jobs. And this involved two parts. Let's start with layout. It really doesn't matter what your resume looks like as long as it's presentable and easy to read. But here's what I did. I searched the resumes of upper year Waterloo students and took some heavy inspiration from them. In the words of J. Cole, you were inspired by the world, so allow the world to be inspired by you. So, for example, if we literally just Google computer science, Waterloo, LinkedIn, we presented a few names, okay, we see this person has entered, interned at LinkedIn. So, if we go on Google, Google their name, we see their website, oh, we see a resume, and boom, we're presented with a clean resume format. Now, you can do this for a bunch of them and either draw inspiration or you could download an Adobe Acrobat trial, edit the PDF, and literally just take the whole format. I'm not gonna say which one I did, but I'll let you decide what you prefer. Now, for content. My advice, especially when you're just starting out, is to tailor your resume for a specific domain. I picked iOS, but you can pick literally anything you're interested in. iOS, Android, React, Kubernetes, Node.js, or anything else that you wanna learn about. Once I picked iOS, I Googled three to four easy iOS projects, copied their tutorials, and put them onto my resume under projects. Generally, a strong bullet point should follow the format of did X using Y, which resulted in Z. You'll see that in my first year resume, I didn't do this, but I wish I had. You also wanna make sure to list all of the technologies you've used as recruiters might be screening for keywords. Now, here's the resume I used in first year to land a few iOS developer intern interviews without any prior experience. You see some projects there, and to fill up space, I added some activities that I did in high school and my interests. Of course, I was fascinated by skydiving and cryptocurrencies. I wish I had followed up on that cryptocurrency interest a little more. Might have been useful now. But generally, this section probably won't help you unless one of them happens to catch the eye of the person screening your resume. I don't think ordering of these sections matters too much either, but just don't do anything crazy like putting your interests at the top. And generally, I think you should have skills and any relevant experience you have near the top and your education as well near the top if you go to an impressive school. Once your resume is ready, it's time to apply. The best strategy here, spray and pray. Apply to every job that seems even vaguely relevant because you never know what might click and worst case, you just get another rejection email. In my case, I applied to 50 because that was the limit on our job portal. But had I been applying externally, I would have definitely applied to hundreds. Now, let's say your resume has gotten you a couple of interviews. I think there's two main types of software engineering interviews. Those that ask you algorithms and data structure questions, and those that don't. So first, ask your company what to expect in the interview. This will give you a general idea of which of the two categories you fall in. If you fall in the coding question category, there's already a ton of resources out there to help you out. Search up leakcode.com and practice a bunch of questions on there. Now for the other types of questions. Chances are some of the smaller companies that get back to you will ask you a lot of general questions about your resume. So those projects that you quickly whipped up, make sure you're able to talk about them inside out to make sure you know the technologies, the libraries, any design patterns you used. But more importantly, make sure you're able to justify your decisions. The best way to impress an interviewer during a software engineering interview, and quote me on this, is to be able to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of your decisions. So even if you build a shitty app, make sure your interviewer knows that you know that it's a shitty app and that you know the steps that can be taken to improve this application. This is what I did during my interview, and I'm pretty sure this is what got me my iOS developer role at xe.com. That's all I got. And to end off, here's a clip of me and my friend doing a resume in first year. Pace. Let me see your resume. Don't know, 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 don't know. I do know and don't know.